Hello. 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 Hello and welcome to another video. This is all about shotgun mics. Yes, 416 and the 50. And why I chose these over, I had uh, four I could have, I, I really want. I had one, which was the 416. I've had that for about a few years now. Always used it. And I wanted the um, MKH50, which is this one, for a good few years. I got chose these, the comparison between what's the difference between that and that. And so let's get to it and a uh, comparison up for these uh, these microphones. So this I'm going to record um, the uh, how these microphones sound, so you can decide what you think of it, see how it sounds and whether you like it as well. So, let's, uh, this is the MKH-50 from Sennheiser with the new radius mount. Really, I got this um, microphone, been wanting it for God knows how long, and I decided, why not? Just gonna show you just how it sounds. It's gonna be mint. So let's go. A few moments later. So. I'm going to do a little over the head of this microphone and show you how it sounds, um, basically. So when it comes to recording, I'm going to switch the sound off that and put the sound on this and you can see how it sounds. So I'm going to record this. So I am now recording in the MKH-50. It's good for, say, I'm working on a... See, it's coming off but you can still see it's picking up and as you go more to it, it sounds warmer and clearer. So it actually sounds really, really nice. Um, but it, you can get you off key. So which is this is why people use this because effectively, if there's two people talking or three people talking, well, at least two anyway, or maybe actually three, three, I'd say you could do it. If it's got three people talking um, and they're walking and talking or just two people talking, or are, you, or are you in an interview? You can effectively go like that, and then over like that, and over like that, and over like that, and over like that. But if you have it right in the middle, you can still get a little bit. You only have to turn it off, off axis a little bit, so you can get two people to, talking like that, very nicely, and it'll sound just as lovely. As you can hear, this is the 50. M Sennheiser MKH 50. Yes, Sennheiser MKH 50. You can see how lovely it sounds, off key, on key, it's just, it just picks up, it's got a wider polar pattern. So this is uh, good for interviews, indoors as well, because it's very small as you can see. So I will t stop this one now. There we go. As you can see, this is the 416. There you go. The 416 MKH with Phantom Power, which is P48, if you don't know. So it requires Phantom Power. Um, which means well, it, just, it needs something with phantom power like my mixer or anything it sounds really quite good um, I'm going to now flick out to the microphone office and see what you, what you think of it so here we have the 416 if you go off axes you can see there's not as much polar pattern you have to be right on axes you can really hear it um, you go off and you can't really hear it as much you go off and if it's there you can't really get a very good um, recording as you can see when you're off where do you put it on the more you put it on the more you put it on it's super cardio so the more you put it on the more directional it is so you have to make sure that you're on point this is why we're on a lot of soaps and places having a 416 is good it teaches you how to boom because you have to be on it Whereas the MKH-50 is a bit more forgiving, which is better for two shots. So if you want an easy, an easy day, or you've got to do, monitor, if you're in one man band, you've, you've got to monitor radios, um, it's best to have an MKH-50, because you then, you've got to monitor your radios and you've got to monitor other stuff. So this is basically the 416. It's very um, on, off, off, on, off, on, off, on axes you can see how it is um so yeah um so now i'll turn that off 
you could see how, or you could hear, I guess, you could hear how on and off axes it is. The uh, Howler 50 really does help. The 416, it's good, but, you really, but it does teach you how to boom. If you want to know how to boom, learn how to boom properly. 416 is perfect because you have to be on it all the time. You have to boom, but you have to think ahead. You have to beat on it. Whereas with the 50, you can be a bit more forgiving and it's easier to just go the, the, the smallest turns, smallest turns and you're sorted, basically. Um, and it's great for two for a two person interview, great for a nice warm one person interview, great for a two person walk and talk, because you can just go like that, as long as you know what they're saying. But obviously, you should always radio mic your interviewees act as participants because if you do lose it or if the microphone goes down you've got the radio or if the radio is down you've got the microphone you've always got, you should always have two options if you can for recording so that is the difference between the MKH50 and the MKH416 from Sennheiser uh, like I said my next one will be probably an 8060 because it's, it's likely it's a mixture of the niceness of the 50 as in the nice warmth of it but it has a suction power of the 416 hope you like this video tell me if you tell me if you enjoyed it tell me if it was helpful to help you decide whether to go with the whether to get a 50 from the sound you've heard and then yeah let's go so talk to you soon let's get it bye bye